I got to give you this article. This is out of Honduras. Now, you know, I don't come on here this early unless I have something. And I have something. It says here, Biblical Plague of Frogs, Toads, and Tadpoles causes a multi-car pileup. Now, for those of you who think, oh yeah, we still got plenty of time here on this earth. We got all the time in the world. Well, you're wrong. We don't. When I saw this article, I said right then and there, no, we don't. <laughs> so a biblical plague of toads and frogs wreaked havoc on a Honduras city causing a multi-car pileup. Now, <clears throat> the amphibians took over the streets and the homes of Choloma after heavy rainfall in the area causing drains to overflow and puddles to form. The outbreak started December 3rd. And according to locals continued, listen to this, it continued for three days. At one point, a pickup truck lost control of the slime left behind and caused a pileup involving at least five vehicles, including a tanker, two lorries, and a motorbike that was left burnt to a crisp. There were no fatal uh, fatalities, but the road was blocked for some time, causing a long tailback, said residents. Some of the people caught, caught up in the crash had to be taken to the hospital. Several people filmed the creatures swarming the area, including one man who said it scared him. It looked like the plagues of Egypt. According to the book of Exodus, <laughs> the second plague of Egypt was a plague of frogs. The account said Moses was at the command of God bought forth a multitude of amphibians from the Nile and they covered Egypt for Get this, three days. Earlier this month, matter of fact, a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, locusts hit a city in Mexico. Mile long clouds of bugs blanketed the sky, flying through shopping plazas smacking in the windows of apartment complexes and gobbling up everything green in local parks. Locust was the eighth of the ten plagues sent to carpet Egypt. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is going to get, this is the beginning. This is the beginning right here. Yeah. I wanted to come on here and give you this story about the article about the frogs. We don't have time, folks. This is why when I hear people argue and bicker among whatever grace community, whatever they're doing, I ignore it because it's not important. We're getting ready to be face to face with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This is not the time to be arguing about little petty BS on this earth. Just saying. I will be back later. Thank you. <laughs>